Welcome guys to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Peter uh, Sun Insurance. Uh, today, uh, those ones who have not subscribed or who have never written to my channel, I ask you kindly uh, consider subscribing when you look at this channel. Today, I want to do a video here about the form MCS150. A lot of time, uh, those ones who have companies, you do receive um, a letter in the mail asking you to update your uh, Benio MCS150. They tell you it's due and you are supposed to be updating it every two years and the reason for updating is uh, if you add a unit to your fleet or if you drop one unit from your fleet you are required by law to uh, notify the DOT if not uh, you are uh, vulnerable and you might uh, be fined so the best thing is to watch out for these notices which come and um, you go to the computer and you can update it by yourself. You don't have to use like third parties if you want to save some money. But um, you may as well be getting a lot of phone calls from people out there asking them to assist you to do uh, this form for you. Okay, um, so the reason why you need to look out and, uh, for these forms is before beginning the operations, if there's a change in contact information like email address or telephone number or your actual address, you need to notify. Like I said, if you have a change in the uh, fleet, a number of uh, power units, trailers, drivers, and so on. So you need to notify a DOT. And uh, you also need to report the motor carrier, the annual estimated mileage which you drive. For example, if per week, let's say you drive um, 2,000 miles per week, uh, so 2,000 times 4, so you have 8,000 miles per month. And if you multiply that one for one year, 12 months, that would be 96,000. So you need to update that. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to go to a computer and show you once you get this notice, uh, the link you are supposed to, say, to follow. I'm going to put the link below this video and I kind of walk you through on how you're supposed to update this form on the computer. And once you are done, that's it. And you don't have to uh, pay any fee to do this. It's just only the information. And uh, so if you get somebody uh, giving you a call, saying they can do it for you for a fee uh, you don't have necessarily to use their service you can do it yourself so i hope this video is going to be helpful to you and let me know guys what you think uh, below the video when uh, make sure you watch it from the start to the finish the mcs 150 um so what you want to do is to go to this website, which I'm going to put in the description side, so you can get it handy. So make sure it is authentic. It's fmcsa.dot.gov. This is the the link right here. And once you are in this page, you want to go to registration. Registration. Scroll down to update my US DOT number right here. 
So when you arrive at this page, scroll down, and you want to be in this area here, read and see where you belong. New additional registration because you already have a DOT number, you don't need to be at this uh, section. So move to the second one, continue out filing. Use your registration number and the tracking identifier to continue filing with the registration. And uh, if you are an existing registration update where you want to be, you want to be at the first where you say what you need to do is I need to update my USD or the number registration information for or file a Benio, Benio update MCS150. This is what we need to do. So you check mark there and scroll down. Scroll down and um, So once you are here, there's some of the information which you need to put handy to use in uh, completing this uh, uh, process. You will need your DOT number, which has all your company information, and then you will need a PIN number. A PIN number is like a password, which will identify you like you are the authorized uh, company official to to the update. So once you are here, you continue. And uh, this is the area I was telling you about. You need a USD or the number and uh, a PIN number, which was, uh, I believe it was sent in the mail and you have it uh, somewhere in your office. But for some reasons, if you don't have one, you can request. Um, you can request a, a VIN number. And well, what you need to do is provide some information verification process before they send it to you. Uh, if you uh, you apply electronically, they will ask you a valid credit card number, and there will be no charge for that it's for identification process. So if you want to do that, they say click yes. If one of the following applies to you, if you need a USDOT a personal identification number, if your USDOT number has been compromised, or if you forgot your USDOT number uh, PIN, you click yes. But today we are not doing that. We assume we have our uh, PIN number and we want to file electronically. And once you are doing this process, if you forget something, don't use this uh, back button here for the uh, browser. You have to use this one to go back to enter some information which you want to. So we want to file electronically. So once you, so you, you do file electronically, it brings you to this page. And for the purpose of this video, I am not going to add uh, any uh, real information. So I will use uh, a dummy information. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is like a federal ID card, um, a federal number, tax ID. But I just uh, came. Uh, with a few numbers. So once you do this, you will uh, you will uh, say the company name A B A B C, and then uh, C E O. And once you are done, you will have to click continue. And after that, it's not going to allow me because I don't have real information. That's it. Then the next page, you will update your information and you will be done from there. So that's all guys uh, in this video. I hope you uh, looked at this video and I hope you find it helpful. So um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, share.
and uh, kind of turn on turn the notification on every time I do a video like this. YouTube will tell, uh, automatically notify you. That's it. I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.